unboxing and review of temperature and humidity sensor powered by Tuya. Now this time it's a round shape sensor. Last one was a rectangle on Wi-Fi. This one is Zigbee. Let's see whether this one can beat Akara. SmartTube welcomes. Let's go. We should start from the box. You can see that the sensor is a, a round sensor powered by Tuya. I hope it's much smaller than the Wi-Fi rectangle sensor from Tuya, but let's let's see. From the box it seems like. So on the side there is nothing, on the back QR code for the mobile application and temperature humidity sensor battery type okay so we don't have the AAA batteries we have the CR2450 I think the Akara has a 2032 so this one is thicker from Akara and some ranges from which the sensor can work uh, on the winter time I will see whether the Wi-Fi could handle less than that but let's see yeah it works on the zb product size four centimeters wide ip20 so you should not put it outside for sure okay so we can so now let's open it and see what's inside i never had that before so i may be i may be surprised so okay wow we have foam I don't remember any other sensor that was in the foam, so okay. Okay, so mm, double side tape, one, so there is one only. And uh, okay, we have some, the product, oh, that's thick. If we compare it to Akara, but okay, so there is only one. In Akara, uh, always has two, so one that is on the product and then another is a spare tape and here okay open the shell remove i assume this is uh, keeps the battery away from the electronic so the battery is not used i think that the car doesn't have it so that's a good move but let's see what's what else is in the box uh, I think this is for the resetting the sensor. Quite strange to have it because usually now all sensors have buttons to reset. But uh, where I can put it? I assume that here or something inside. I will not put it here, baby. This is the place where the something else is. Yeah, for something else it is used, but uh, I will check in the manual. That's that. And then some paper inside, nothing else. Okay. I don't understand Chinese. Okay, here is in English. Good. Product user manual. Okay, can you see it? Okay, we can see that this is a reset hole. Okay, so on the top, this is the hole to reset. So that's it. About what was in the box. I'll put it on the side. So let's first see. I will just uh, open the bag from it. How can I do it? sliding okay sliding to the left like opening the bottle i can open it and it's open so like i said cr2450 and this is nice so i think this first thing where the tuya wins with akara okay you see very thick battery button battery Okay, so we can place it and uh, close. Now we have to 
slide it to the right and it should close okay you can see that the light is not flashing so now let's reset it oh um, you know what let's just maybe compare it to a car i have a car sensor behind me oh, sorry the battery just dropped off so this is how it looks like if we put it at the back the Akara. So it's similar size, I would say. So round and square. It's fine. But if you look at the thickness, so then there is a difference. Probably the difference also by, I think that two millimeter, millimeters, milli, two millimeters uh, is on the battery. But I think here you can uh, see that it's, it's a few more millimeters, millimeters on thickness. If you look at the color of the plastic, so Akara is more white. It is like no, yellow, maybe gray. I think you can see it on the on the screen. Okay, so now let's. Uh, battery is inside now it's uh, working so it's powered so now uh, we can try to add it to our smart home system i'm using the home assistant so i will add it uh, there if you have any hub to which you can connect zigbee devices uh, this is a zigbee devices is a protocol a zigbee 2 not free so zigbee 3 is a new protocol i don't have a sniffer so the the hub that would connect to ZigBee free. Actually I bought it but it's still not connected so I just plan it to change from the Conbi to to, to the son of USB uh, ZigBee gateway very soon. So now I will show how to connect it to the home assistant. So I will start from resetting the sensor. So I suppose the flash the light will flash okay it's red usually it's blue blinking so let's see okay i think it's reset and now let's see if the combi 2 can see this sensor now we can start from entering the home assistant okay oh, so i will just go to the third screen so this is the view from my home assistant on the mobile and uh, I have a combi which is on my left side, decons. Then I'm entering here. Then I, I'm not sure whether there is a, another way of adding new devices to the combi but I'm doing this way. So I press the lights and here is a button add a new light. So I'm just pressing that. Okay, I don't see any information that the sensor is found, but the light on the sensor is now not red, it's just turned off. So now I'm moving back to the camera. Yeah, so you can see it's not blinking and it should be in the home assistant. Yeah, so now again back to the phone to see where is our new sensor. As the sensor is added, now we can go to look for it. Maybe I would go to the decons here in Photocon. I can go now to the sensors. And I probably should see it here. So here are the Akara sensors. Akara. So I was adding the sensor from quite far away from the gateway so maybe i will just go nearby and try one more time so i will reset the sensor and add it again so now i'm turning on the uh, smartphone camera now okay so this is it so now let's again restart the sensor It's restarted and we go back 
to the home assistant and try to argue it again. We are again in the home assistant. We go to the icon of the light on the sensor stopped blinking. So I don't know what happened, whether it's added or not, but it will be too fast. Let's restart it. Light is blinking. I push more. Go here and search light. It is blinking fast. Now it's solid and the light disappeared. Okay, so it's no flashing light. So I would say if now it worked, then we should see it. Sensors. That was already in the toilet and no nothing for now i cannot install uh, add it to the home assistant through decons so i will stop here and do some research whether i can add it or not so see you later okay so i could finally a time to move from the combi to the uh, son of and um, let's try now so and that's the difference. Ah, I will just show you how the combi looked like compared to the Sonoff. Like that. Yeah, much smaller. But uh, I think here we can get a bit, a bit better. So, okay, now I will restart. My master's drying is over. Please take your clothes out so that they are not wrinkled. Okay, it's restarting and now I'm clicking in the home assistant. Now I'm using the Zigbee to MQTT that allow joining. And now it can join the network. Okay, stop blinking and look at that. In Zigbee to MQTT, I can see uh, first my new temperature sensor. Manufacturer Tuya is there. Okay, so now I will just place the sensor some near by another Akara temperature sensor and let's verify the readings from this one. It's been a few days since I used the, the sensor, so now we can compare readings from the Tuya sensor, temperature and humidity, and with Akara sensor. They were both next to each other, so the blue one is the Tuya, the purple one is Akara. And uh, if we look at the graph, they're almost equal. The difference, let's say, in this point is 23.77 and Tuya has 2366 so it's difference it's after decimal it's like 11 so 0 0.11 degree so I would say that's nothing so I'm, I'm very happy about that so I think now we can move to the sum up and end this video so now let's move from the computer to the camera. So this is what Tuya Zigbee sensor offers. And it's worth to mention that this sensor is a sensor that works with Zigbee 2 protocol. And there is also a new version of Tuya uh, temperature sensor that works with Zigbee 3. So I plan to buy it and I will also show you it. So keep an eye on my videos it should be soon but what about this sensor so from the good things that what i can tell you that uh, the sensor has a bigger battery than akara so i think that's that that's good then i think it can last longer i hope so so it's here we have cr2450 but uh, akara sensor has uh, cr2032 another thing that i liked it was this paper so the battery that was inside was not used until you put out this uh, paper. 
Akara doesn't have it, so this is what I like. And uh, I think the last important benefit is actually something what, what should be, is that the readings are same as from Akara. I treat Akara as a, as a base, as the best uh, sensor, so probably I will, also, will always compare it to uh, readings to, from Akara. We can agree that they were the same, so that's that's pretty good. And probably that's the last thing that I liked, but uh, in what the sensor was worse than Akara. So first thing was the, the thickness, so mainly because of the battery that is inside. The sensor is thicker, mm, the, the battery is thicker by 2 millimeters, but the sensor is thicker by 4, I think, if I remember correctly. So maybe those 2 millim millimeters uh, could be less, and then I would say the thickness is, is, is the same, or just this sensor is thicker because of the battery. That's the first thing. Another is the stick that you need to reset the sensor by putting it here. And uh, I saw that the new sensor from uh, from Tuya with, that works with Zigbee 3 has the button. So usually those new sensor has buttons, the old sensor has the holes where you have to have that uh, metal stick to reset it. Another thing that I didn't like or Akara is better is that is this uh, double side tape. With Akara we have one that is on the product and as per tape. So that's that's what that's why the Akara is better in this. If we talk about the how it was packed, I think it was fine. Maybe Akara has usually some uh, some stick that uh, prevent uh, other people to open the, the product, the package. So that's the about the um, box and the foam. I think the probably the paper would be more ecological. I don't know whether it is better, but paper probably is better for the environment. So that's that's that. And uh, maybe last and most important thing is the price. So for this sensor I paid like 16 PLN, so, uh, but it was with the some coupons, but e easily you can get it for 30 PLN. Uh, on the screen I will show you how much that is in, uh, in dollars and or in, in euro. Usually Akara is with, is twice as expensive as, as, as this one. So it's around 60 PLN. Uh, my last Akara temperature sensor that I bought was for 50 PLN, but uh, you know, you need to wait and look for it. The same thing is with this sensor. Uh, you can, I bought it for 25 or 26, but now you can buy it for 30 uh, PLN. So you can have two Tuya Zigbee temperature sensors instead of one, if you decide to buy this one, not Akara. The shape is circle versus square with rounded corners in Akara. And uh, I think a bit better plastic has Akara, but it, it doesn't look bad. Yeah. So if I would have it on the wall, it looks nice. Would I buy it again? I think that um, in my case, I won't buy it again because I have everywhere Akara sensors. So just to have, you know, the same type of temperature sensors, I would, I would stick to, to Akara. But uh, for example, if I would have it somewhere where no one would see it or very rarely I would uh, see it, like garage or outside, uh, I can have it. So for half of the price, why not? It's a good move. So I, in general, I would say good job with the Zigbee version. It's fine and I recommend it if you don't want to spend twice uh, twice more for Akara. So thank you for watching the video and see you next time. Bye bye.